I am Turk at 36, and I'm going to try to do an iMovie tutorial. So let's say you have iMovie right here in the bottom. Never used it before or whatever. So I'm going to do a basic tutorial. I'm going to try to bring in a different crowd of people to my YouTube channel. So you open it. That you won't see, I'm pretty sure, unless you use iPhoto. I'll just click later anyways. So, it's just loading. It takes a little bit. Okay, so. Next, for example, okay, I got a project open. I found a different one. I have a lot of projects. I don't need them. Which I should. Let's see. Let's, I always use 35. I think. Okay. I don't click on it straight to YouTube. So let's go with product 34. What is this? Okay. Okay, so first of all, you can have a new project, which is. Whoops. Oh my god, what did I do? No. Okay. You can have a new project, which is here. And uh, it has nothing. And you're going to have no events down here, and you can have nothing here, or I have these uh, Halo characters right now. So let's say you want a new project, let's pretend you have something up here, okay? You go File, New Project, or Command, and N. And New Event is right below it. So let's say, I has to just do a new event. You see how it pops up down here? You can type what you want it to be called. I'm going to be tutorial. Usually it takes a second right there to load a new tutorial. I'm going to teach pretty basic stuff after it finally loads. So over here, on these tabs, you're going to have a couple main things. This is your music. It's everything in iTunes. Your pictures right from iPhoto. Titles. And transitions. I always do a title. You just grab it from here, let's say whatever one you want. It even does a little playback, see how it zooms. Kind of shows you what happens, so let's do this. I just drag it over, choose a background I like out of all of them. I always go with black. Pops up. You can type in whatever you want. Then you click done. Now for titles, you don't have to have it just a black background or colored. And when you click this little icon here, you can precision editor, clip adjustment, cropping rotation. Clip adjustments, you can change duration. So if I wanted to, 10 seconds. Boom. So now 10 seconds is as long as it is. Or 1 second. Now it's. If you've never used this before, the space bar is a play button. You click space and it'll play. Now say you don't want just a title, you want to bring in some video. So you import, just down here under file, import, movies. And then you can go anywhere, like, you can go anywhere on your, your MacBook. I, uh, I'll go to my movies, blah, 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 and you just, you go to it. Like, for example, I could bring in, where is it? One sec, it's on, uh, unedited. That's, for example, my very, fr or how about this? Uh, kid friendly now. I'll say copying files. It'll take a minute and edit this part out so you don't have to hear or wait for four minutes. As you can see, you got less than a minute left now. It's taking a lot longer than four minutes. Whatever, I'm not gonna complain. But it's basically all loaded. And I'll explain a little bit more about some simple stuff. I don't know how I did it, can't remember at the time, but I turned on advanced settings, which I'll probably quickly try to find, which make a lot of things easier. And I'm generating thumbnails just because it is this really cool thing. It makes a bunch of thumbnails. Sorry, I was tapping. I didn't think generating thumbnails took this long. I guess it's a long video. Okay, then it's going to show up. I don't know why I went down here. Alright, so I got my whole... See how it just 
when I drag it along here to actually play this video, I'm not actually playing it, I'm just moving my mouse along it. And go anywhere. So, for example, I don't know how I turned on my actual. I'm pretty sure there's a, you know, settings, preferences, sort of preferences. Show advanced tools. Turn that on. It probably isn't on, but do that. Uh, import video. Like if it's HD, you know. Oh no! Don't want. Don't click fonts. Don't click fonts. Don't. But yeah, turn show advanced tools on. So that's just under iMovie preferences, which is also command comma, and it does that. So, for example, I don't move in the game here for the first, what is that? First 2.8 seconds. So I don't want that. So I just go to where I start moving, which is about here. Now also for this video, I don't want to see this part because it's not important. So from black loading screen right here, I click, if you have a mouse or use a trackpad, the left click and then you drag now, see, I don't want to wait this long, so I could speed it up and do this, or you just go straight down. Just hold it all the way down until you get to the bottom, if you have a long clip, and I want it to cut out right there, right at the end. So then it's all highlighted yellow like that, and you click and you drag up, really simple. And you see here that everything here with an orange little bar, that means it's in the video, like on down here. So that means it's up in the project the event is in the project. Now, for some videos, it, it cuts it out. Do you see the difference of how this looks a lot different than this, the numbers are weird? So what you do is you click this little icon, cropping and rotation, and you click allow black. Now that what that does is it gives it uh, two black bars, one on each side, but it also fills in the screen here. So now it looks where I want it to be. Now, let's say I don't want my title in front of the video. So I grab it here, and I drag it just so there's a blue thing on up here, and you let go, and it plays now over top of the video. So while the video is playing, it shows Tethered Productions, which is my name, but it covered other text. So it's, so it's annoying. So I want it to pop up after that text is gone, drag it along, and bam, now it's over here. You can move it wherever, change, change a bunch of stuff. Uh, you can do it like until I tell you about, I'll do basics. So I'm just gonna bring it back over there. Now you can do a couple things. So this button over here, switches your event and project for your own personal preferences. Maybe you want the project to be down here. But since I was accustomed to it, I like it up here. This button right here lets you uh, open camera import. If you have a webcam, it will uh, open this little section that lets you, here, you know what, I'm gonna click it. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna click it because you don't need to see my face right now. This is a favorite button. This, I never use anything up here except for this button maybe this button, and all these. So you want to add music, it's really simple. Let's say, okay, I got a bunch of machinima stuff, blah, marathon, okay. Let's say I want this. So I have this track, I just click, oh actually, you can click it, and click at space, and I'll play some of it, just to see if you, like, if you don't know what, how it sounds. And then you can drag it up here. If you drag it just so it has a plus sign, and see that red bar? That's where it's gonna start. Or, I don't know if this is gonna work, but there's a way to drag it, oh, there it was, and that will cover from all of it until it runs out. Now to add music, you can modify a lot of stuff in music. For example, has a little thing, audio adjustments, I'll do it better, but you can fade in, fade out, enhance, equalize it, and bunch of stuff with it. I'm not going to talk about it. You click backspace, delete whatever you want to call it, and it deletes it. If it's DC here, it says KFC and KFC 2.0, because that is music I play on the radio. 
I had a work like I plug it into the radio and it plays music. It's all clean stuff. You can add photos. So let's say I want. I don't know what you're going to see here. Okay, so. Bunch of random stuff. Let's scroll down to. Not going to use anything copyrighted. Let's go with a picture of my son. Okay? You can drag it in. Now, this is why you want advanced tools on, because this would not happen if you don't have them on. Drag it up. And it says picture and picture side by side, green screen, blue screen, blah, blah, blah. Usually, you're going to want picture and picture. So, this allows that picture to be playing with the video. Look yellow bars indicate corners and I believe the center and other corners. So let's say, let's pretend I want him up here. You can also resize it to take up all of the screen, none of the screen basically if that defeats the purpose. We're on the right corner. So now he shows up randomly in the video for no apparent reason. But I'm just showing you, you can do that with pictures and you can crop it and yeah, I'm just gonna, this is a basic uh, transition. So let's say I want to split the clip, which makes these two clips separate. So pretend I didn't want this amount. Whatever, just delete it, and now there's a gap in the video. So it looks like that, just, it just skips, right? Okay, I don't know why that does that. Okay, just, it just skips from this to that. This is a bunch. You can just drag a transition up, and now, and so, so, oh, now it's a page kernel. You can transition so that it takes two seconds to do that. So now it looks a lot different because it actually takes a little bit of time. Now it looks like more of a transition. And there's a bunch of different ones. Uh, some of that, I like the cube one. Just keeps it over like that bunch of different ones, and if you set, set a theme, it uh, gives you different transitions based off of that. I'm not going to talk about a theme yet. I'm clicking Command and Z, and it undoes everything. Just if you want to know that, Command Z, Z undoes a lot. Uh, let's pretend, oh, if you want to add voice, you can click this button. You go over here, countdown, and now that I'm talking, it has a red bar over here telling me that it's picking up my voice as I'm recording and this shows me over here how loud I'm speaking, it can switch the input volume then when I just click it again, it stops, exit now if I play it and now that I'm talking, it has a red bar and it shows exactly what I just said, it's just a voiceover if you wanted to do a commentary or talk while you're, so you can watch it while you talk kind of thing Pretty cool, I do that for a lot of my commentaries. And also, it, if there is an audio in the video, it'll decrease the audio in the video so you can hear the voice. It does it automatically. And yeah, and when you're done, you click share. You can automatically go to whatever, whatever that is, YouTube, Facebook, some other random stuff, but you want to click export movie. Then you save it. Usually, just put it on your desktop and you'll always see where it is. I can't do HD right now because of a lot of reasons, a lot, a lot of them are space, but it shows you what it will connect to. Medium will go to iPod, nothing else will. And everything except for 1080 will go to iPod, same with iPad, and you got Apple TV which will medium large, and your computer will accept everything except for mobile version, which makes sense. Then you click export and you title it, obviously, and export, and it will save my example onto the desktop. And if you can see, you can see I have a bunch of stuff on my desktop. But that is my basic iMovie thing I'm going to do for now. Hope you like my basic, basic tutorial. I'll be doing more later. I'm just trying to help people because I've been using iMovie for a long time and it's pretty awesome. Be sure to watch my other videos if you're just looking at my tutorial. This video is pretty funny if I've uploaded it. I should have. But I have a bunch of stuff here. Oh, upload it all. It's 44 parts, and yeah, whatever, I'm done. Hope you liked it, see ya. Like it, like the video if you liked it. Comment if you want to know it. If you want to have a special request of what, what, what you want me to teach you, I know I do know a lot, so ask me how to do something on like a quick video on how to do that.